this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the live edit screen. Again I'm using the WolfMix demo project with the 3D visualizer to show you how live edits work on the WolfMix W1. I'm going to tap live edit here. This is a really powerful screen. It essentially allows you to store whatever you want into any of these buttons. You've got 20 buttons here and by changing the page you've got another 20 here. So you can create up to 40 custom buttons and in every button you can choose a specific value for every DMX channel. For example, imagine you wanted to light up a mirror ball. You might want two lights in white. Well, let's try this. Here we've got the moving heads in the 3D visualizer. Let's say we wanted the first head and the last head in the top row to turn white and to point in the middle of the stage. I'm going to tap an empty space, so let's, let's put it over here in the bottom right. Here we've got all the lighting fixtures in our project, five pages of fixtures. We've also got the groups here, so I'm going to filter just the top heads. I'm going to select the first moving head and the last moving head. And then I'm going to press edit. So here we can change any channel. All these are the channels of the selected fixtures. So for example, to set it to white, I can set the cyan, magenta, and yellow to zero. I could also move these lights up a little bit. Something to be aware of, any fixture limits are not applied to these live edits. So if you really did want to point a particular fixture at a back wall, sometimes you could do that with a live edit as well. I'm going to select a value like so. And I'm going to pan. This light over here, then I'm going to go back deselect the first moving head. So I just have the last one selected here. Tap edit and I'll adjust the pan of this one as well. So now I've made an edit to those two moving heads. I can give it a name by tapping here. I'll call this mirror ball. Just imagine there's a mirror ball uh, in the middle of the stage there. Perhaps a strange place to put a mirror ball in the middle, but there we go. If I hit the flashing button, so I can switch this on and off. If I switch it off, the lights go back to doing what they were doing before. I switch it on, the lights go onto the mirror ball. I can also make this a flash button. So if I shift and hit the button to edit, I can tap flash here. This is good for creating some custom color flashes, for example, which is what I've done on the bottom here. You can also do, you can use live edits for things like uh, prisms where there isn't a special function on the wolf mix. Start rotating the prism. I could give it a smaller iris. Change the zoom. You can also take a snapshot of the DMX with a live edit, which is quite interesting. Watch this. If I go and trigger a preset, let's do Milky Way, for example. I can go to live edit, create a new live edit by tapping an empty button here, select a group of lights. So I'm going to select my top heads again. You can select all the lights in a group by tapping the encoder. I can press edit. And this magic button in the top right records DMX. This will take a snapshot of the current DMX output and save it to the fixtures. 
For example, if I hit record DMX, the snapshot's now been taken and I can save that. Perhaps I want it as a flash button. So the effect's moving, I hit this and it triggers the snapshot. Let's trigger a different effect so we can see it in more detail. Let's say we have this red wash effect. I go back to live edit, I hit edit 11 and it jumps back to this. So that's the live edit and I'll see you in the next tutorial.